Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and welcome to Rad with Tarot. So, uh, this is going to be uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon uh, and Taurus Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. And while I'm doing the shuffling of uh, the deck, by the way, this is going to be the traditional uh, radiant version of the Reader White Tarot deck. Um, I want to tell you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Taurus star sign and for that reason this reading is going to touch different subject in a different way for every single different um, one of you. Uh, so in other words the reading is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Tauruses because you guys are different from one another. However if you want um, reading on a more personal level to touch your personal subject the things that interest you the most then uh, that is a, a subject of a personal reading and uh, for such you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, don't forget that by the end of the february all of the prices of all of my services have been reduced massively you know even some of them are reduced more than a half to make myself accessible to as many people as possible in need especially in our financial needs so um, hopefully I will do that one right here with the cutting in front of the camera so okay uh, that being said going to the spread now four card enhanced spread or that is going to be an eight card spread which we do have four main positions the first position which is the topic of your week is going to be oh wow look at that we do have a winner here with the ace of cups so that is the topic of your week followed by the second card justice which is the things that you should not do throughout the week or how you should not approach the situation of the ace of cups third card that we do have that is going to be the page of cups which is how you should approach the topic here which is the ace of cups and the last one is the card of growth in case you do follow the guidance of tarot and that is the five of pentacles so final card always a card of growth in this spread should you follow the advice or the guidance that Saro has for you in the previous couple of cards so once again we have the ace of cups followed by the justice card then it is the page of cups and the last one that is going to be the five of pentacles all right lovely so i'm going to drop those cards on the table for now because it's pretty uncomfortable to walk them in the air and uh, what we do have guys for you it's e a a salvation in some sort it does depend what you struggle with but whatever your struggles are wherever excuse me your struggles are and uh, regardless of what plights you're finding yourself right now uh, stuck to uh, from uh, the knees to your neck it's uh, it's gonna be no longer i mean the the ace of cups comes around and what this card signifies for you is a, a period of deep contentment a contentment created of a, a possibility and even materializing of a wish coming true okay however I don't want to burst your bubble here, but you need to consider that one has many wishes. And if I have to give myself as an example, uh, you know, I wish that I drive a better car. I wish that, you know, I am, I have more personal freedom. I wish for many things. All right. And one of those things, if I were Taurus is going to come true, which is going to saturate basically it's going to um how can i place it is going to, is going to dapple your uh your week and the environment of your week with quite of a joy and exhilaration and uh it, it has a pretty good chance to make everything else totally irrelevant especially with the plights so just to give you an example you know uh, let's say that you struggle financially 
and suddenly you win from the lottery. So it makes your financial struggle irrelevant. So my point here, guys, is that out of nowhere, something happens throughout the week, uh, which makes the current worries you have, the current struggles you have in this field, totally, totally irrelevant. As a matter of fact, moving along with this new um, enterprise of yours that creates deep contentment here, and it, it gives you the option to uh, make your wish come true or it on its own is making your wish come true, that thing is going to uh, basically transcend your daily reality. It's, it's kind of in this field of your life. Life ain't gonna be the same. Life ain't gonna be despondent any longer. Life is gonna be full of joy. <clears throat> and uh, usually that thing takes place where your heart is almost empty at. All right, so it could be a relationship, it could be career once again, but um, nothing is going to look the same when this new circumstances comes around and overflow your heart with joy that was once emptied. And uh, like I said, looking everything through that overflowing joy is going to truly transcend your uh, daily reality. Then we do have the Five of Swords, and that's a bit awkward, to be honest. Not awkward, but it kind of like it speaks for itself, considering that we do have Judgment, uh, Justice, excuse me, on a second place. So what these cards here are forming that are um, passive neutrals, and it pretty much asks you to leave your current situation, because we're, we're saying here transcending, therefore traversing, and it asks you to leave your uh, current situation in peace, in the sense of that you have to kind of like settle down these agreements and wrangles and so on and so forth with as much people as possible. And also it, it kind of touches the subject of uh, personal belief, of self-belief, that you do deserve that thing which is happening, all right? Kind of like that it, it falls into the framework of your capabilities and of your limitations and finally finally something good had to happen and there we go it did happen but the five of uh, swords goes even further it could be that some of uh, people in your uh, surroundings could find themselves jealous of this sudden turn ar around turn excuse me of your situation all right and uh, they may attack you in any way they can in the sense of that you know verbal attacks they may try to exert as well power over you and these kind of stuff with a, a different with a different goals and aims some of uh, these people could have the goal for you to share your good fortune with them others may have the goal to steal it completely my point here is is that you shouldn't pay attention to these people all right and just move along and uh, kind of seize and grasp upon uh, that thing uh, upon that new circumstances for example this is the simplest example that i can give you um as how that could play out so let's say you're single you know and suddenly you do find that awesome girl or awesome guy you really crush into one another but for some reason your very best friend hates them you know or a friend of yours hates them and uh they do whatever they can to strain you away from that thing by whispering into your ear, you know, by trying to insult you in any way to make you feel guilty and, 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 and poignant regarding that thing, regarding these new circumstances. And that is the case where you should pay no attention to what everybody else tells you or to what those people tells you in a negative way, but just move and make your wish fulfilled, guys. It's because you will have the opportunity but at the end is going to depend on you i mean it always comes to that because what we talk here is about potential and opportunities uh, but you have to basically help it as well i mean you got to do your part that's my point so the second part the second card that we do have for you Taurus, is that is going to be the justice and what the justice here touches on the subject is, is exactly what i told you with the first couple of cards that uh, you shouldn't, well, how can I play? You shouldn't discern the situation. 
and you shouldn't think that what happens to you it's a bit unfair. The just the justice here points that maybe you taking on this exhilarating circumstances of your behalf will require from you to uh, abandon certain responsibilities and certain structure in your life as well that does concern other people. And these people may try to make you holding yourself accountable. It's not like they're going to hold you accountable, but like holding yourself accountable, you on your own. So it's kind of like they're going to try to use your guilt against you. Okay. And uh, at that point, it's going to be best, you know, if you um, find a way to substitute. It's not like fitting in. It is more like substituting these um, old circumstances with these new circumstances right so that being said if we're following the um the advice the gadla the example excuse me the example of you know your friend doesn't like your new suitor well you substitute your friend with your new suitor it is as simple as that so basically you gotta do that uh try version <clears throat> of uh of your surroundings in order to uh, clear up a, a place and to make a, a, a spot for uh for this deep contentment of your behalf which once again uh, is going to make your current worries totally totally uh irrelevant uh when we talk about justice it and especially when it sits into the negative position uh, you cannot do anything right in order to satisfy everybody around you. What I mean is that this time around, with the justice sitting here, you have to think what is best for you and not what is best for the community, sadly. Because uh, what is going to be best for you, most likely is not going to be liked by the most of the community. Because that will, that will change you in many ways. I mean, you are not facing plights anymore or not as much as you faced before and therefore you you're changing you become a different person so that means that there will be less ground to cover in between you two there will be a bigger gap in between you two and uh, in between you and those people and for that reason if you have to take on your personal path here and you have to cut ties with a certain companions of yours uh, well, this is what it takes. I said that the dream comes true. I never said that it's going to come without a price. There is always a price for something. And in this case, the price is that you have to be, uh, you need to have the sense of self-righteousness instead of righteousness toward all. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, six of pentacles. So what they form here are active enemies. And uh, to be honest, with the Six of Pentacles, it does look like that uh, that happened by a chance, right? It could have been anybody else that could have that, uh, these new circumstances. But this time around, it happened to you, Tauruses. So uh, I could understand now why people will try to kind of steal it for you because the appearance of the six of uh, of pentacles here as a uh, active enemy to the justice card it does point that this thing belongs to the one who takes it rather than to the one by right all right so it, and it, it kind of like there will be a lot of contenders here so if we're following the example of the suitor uh, you ain't going to be the only one that will try to make an impression. I mean, that suitor may not pay attention to the others, but there are going to be definitely others that are trying to make an impression and to steal it from you. So you got to do what you can in order to keep it up. So what we can see here, it is a quite of a contest that you are going to have with those um, with those around you. And for that reason, asking for help, it's, it's not really... really kind of gonna lead you anywhere because uh, having help is going to diminish the justice so that being said uh, when you involve somebody else into it basically they will overburden you with additional responsibilities that you gotta take on and the self-righteousness drops off and uh, what we talked about is that you will no longer be able to discern for yourself 
what is right and what is wrong and therefore uh, you're gonna miss your opportunity but instead of that it's gonna be best if you allow the situation to rather uh, or just to go with the flow you know taking on um, things that comes around in your daily environment and incorporating them against that or in the framework of that things of that thing of these new circumstances which are making possible your wish to come through the next card that we do have for you guys that is going to be the page of cups which is the positive approach toward the situation so first of all that card gives us a, a hint that whatever happens there is going to create a, a huge emotional connection. So most likely we're talking about relationships. I'm saying most likely because like I said at the start, it's about a general reading. And when we talk about general readings, you got to stick to the general interpretation and not to the specific one. Okay, so Page of Cups does not always mean relationship, right? but it leans to that place because it says that there will be an emotional connection to it. But it could be as well that you are going to love, love, love what you will have to do as well. All right. And that is as well and an emotional connection. But the thing with the page is that it says that there is a change looming on the horizon. And now is a crucial time for you to stop being stuck into the irritating minor details and attend to the overview instead okay so basically the irritating minor details are the opinions of others and what they think and how they talk to you and how, that they try to make you feel guilty these are through the irritating minor details if you attend to the overview or rather like you focus your channel your vision you focus you know your efforts as well toward the fulcrum of uh, of your goal which is that wish of yours or a dream of yours then you're going to prepare yourself or rather like you're going to realize what it takes and what it needs for you to face the change that it is looming on the horizon right or that is coming around it not it is not happening yet so these circumstances that we have throughout the week they're just the foundation of the change overall so we talked about suitor here well appearance of the page of cups gives uh, a huge potential of that suitor to become your future wife or a husband to get engaged to be in a long long-term relationship right so that being said guys um with the page you have to keep uh, your expectations very high but also it will require a, a huge or rather like very critical self-examination and self-assessment as well assessing how one stands in their current environment in their love life and in their relationship life as well because as change is coming you gotta go along with the change as well you can't all be the same in there and have the maximum out of it you gotta change as well and that starts from you readopting new and different positions than the positions right now if the people around you you know are giving you a hard time or well, then maybe it's best that you reposition yourself into a new social circle same goes about career i mean the positions are going to be different for every single one of you tauruses but all in all, uh, we are talking here about like a, a game of check uh, of checkmate, right? Where you have to make the right moves once again for yourself by making critical self um, assessment and examining your current current positions. So five of cups is accompanied by the page, and we do have passive supporters here. So basically. Uh, this card, the appearance of this card says that there will be once again confirming that there will be a price of coming up uh, with this uh, opportunity to make your wish comes true and uh, you may experience it as a um, a bit of a loss but the true message of these cards is no pain no gain all right so you have to it's it's a substitution it's not an, an exchange or, or anything so you substitute one thing to get another and you gotta be prepared for it but with the page with the five of cups here whatever happened 
you need to know that that is not the end of the world and you need to know that there is a much better perspective coming up and the other incorporation of the card in this reading is that you should not by any means whatsoever deviate from that path that you're going to choose to walk should you choose to walk it all right because some of you may decide well that wish ain't worth it you know depending on the price i mean you have to scale here how much you have to pay for it and then to decide is it worth it or not to me making wish come true always worth it, worth it. I mean, the, the means justifies, or rather like the, uh, the goal justifies the costs, but that is not the case with, uh, with other people, so you have to be careful for it. But uh, once again, uh, should you be uh, rather more calm and critical toward oneself, that is very important, because we think that this is in our human nature really we tend to think that we did that we are doing the best and i don't I, and i don't mean the best we can i i mean the best that we can do better than anybody and in this case you should be critical once again to yourself you need to recognize your mistakes right things that you don't do quite well things that you don't do quite um things that you do wrong or basically you gotta recognize in in what kind of aspect you suck okay i'm gonna put it that way and uh fix that or at least don't attend into it that's why you gotta make repositioning here to restrict yourself of being involved into enterprises endeavors or actions in general uh that you suck and you can't perform well so and the last what we do have it's uh, the page is the five of pentacles excuse me so uh obviously this is a card of struggle many people says financial loss and uh, poverty but according to the to the spread itself that is a card of growth should you follow the advice of tarot so what is the growing thing uh, of the pi of the five of pentacles first of all you are going to learn that sometimes good things comes on their own all right and when they come around however one should do whatever they can in order to uh, basically improve their personal circumstances five of pentacles is a card showing struggle on all uh, or problems at on all fronts not just on one front but in the same time it does gives you the power to tackle all those uh, all those problems or into your case you will kind of learn yourself or teach yourself excuse me of perseverance through patience and through determination that the that the things are going to start changing on their own accord on their own accord at first and then with your help that change is going to escalate shortly said the appearance of five of pentacles points that you did the right thing to basically wait as much as possible for the right time and the right moment now this card also points that uh, even if people were walking away from you, you know, because you are more blessed than they are, pure jealousy here, uh, there will be those who are going to support you. Now, th those that are left into your social circle, they're there because of you, not because how much money you have, what car you drive, or how handsome you are. They're, they are there for you because they see themselves like you. They see similar interests and they also see a, um, a mutual how can i place it here mutual use they can help you with something you can help them with something as well this card does not discover grant does not uncover excuse me grant achievement because by its nature the page of cups it's a very slowly developing card like i said change is looming on the horizon it's not here yet so what this uh five of pentacles points here as a card of growth is that should you be determined to face the change make your critical analysis readopt your your positions and so on and so forth attach yourself emotionally into this goal of yours there ain't going to be another single problem that is that will be able to bring you down or to persuade you to abandon your goal 
so you are going to have a virtue all right a virtue of the term of self-determination and as well uh, readiness to jump into and solve your issues the accompanied card here that is the uh, knight of uh, cups so we definitely have a, a very faithful companion that comes around and now the appearance of that card adds a shade as we do have passive supporters that could be um, once again a suitor that basically you both are have no blessings whatsoever from the society around you and yet again you go against all of them something like Romeo and Juliet all right something like that may happen to you having these cards will the society going to accept you eventually yes but it's gonna take awfully long time and like we said or like i said based on these cards don't uh, guys deviate from the path that you have chosen so you choose that person you go along with it as far as it needs to all right so basically but once again you can totally choose not to it, it does depend on you so that being said that was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, february 25th to march 3rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed and you liked it tauruses and uh once again that was a general reading for taurus star sign uh which means that this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different tauruses because they are in a different situations but if you want, if you do want a reading um, on a more personal level, you know, to touch your personal subjects this time around in your situation, to be just like the examples in this video anal uh, analyzed by me through Tarot, well then that is a subject of a personal reading and for such you can go to and check out my website for all the services that I'm providing. It is listed here down below in the description of this video. And uh, if you go for it, uh, don't forget that till the end of february which it's almost expired here all of the services have massive reduction in prices for reason being that to me make myself accessible in the month of love you know 14th of february and valentine's for as many people as possible that are in need or in this case a financial one so that being said uh rat signing out now see you next time bye